Hi there and welcome to this review of One Way UK's daily devotionals from the 7th through to the 11th of February. We're finishing off the story of Jonah. Um, God started on Monday, you know, um, really sort of questioning, um, questioning Jonah over his whole attitude concerning the Lord forgiving the people in Nineveh. And, um, you know, he, he said to him straight, is it right for you to be angry about this? And <laughs> this is what Jonah said, um, you know, that he, he'd rather be alive, he'd rather be dead than alive because nothing I predicted is going to happen. And, uh, you know, isn't this like it, if we sort of warn somebody, um, you know, uh, don't touch that, it's dangerous. You know, there may be a faulty electrical connection or something like this. And it's as if they turn around to us and say, well, thank you, I won't. And then we go away saying, man, I really wanted to see them fry. I mean, it just doesn't make sense, does it? But that's professional pride for you, you see, because, uh, because Jonah was a prophet and he had, uh, obviously, a desire to maintain his 100% record. And he was just going to go for a burden because of God's loving kindness. Um, and you see, it's, it's, it, it's, and we would have thought perhaps that as we've got to this stage, there's a parting of the waves. Because clearly, there is a different spirit in operation in Jonah from that operating in the Lord. The Lord is for loving kindness. For forgiveness for these people who had sinned greatly, they were very violent people, they very cruel people, and um, they turned to God, they called out in repentance, and he forgave them, whereas Jonah was just disappointed that uh, they weren't going to get the work thrown at them. And, and yet, you see, Jonah went out and sat on the east side of this city, and uh, he made a shelter to sit under, and we just thought the Lord would have left him there, but he didn't. Um, the Lord arranged for a plant to grow there, uh, which provided even more shade for Jonah uh, from the hot sun. And Jonah was very grateful for the plant. And um, <laughs> the only thing was, the Lord actually also organised... Um, a worm that attacked this plant and it meant that it collapsed and no longer provided um, any shelter for, for Jonah. And that really did get Jonah very heated. And God, you know, pointed out to him, uh, you know, this is a plant, you know, you are uh, you feel sorry about a plant and you had nothing, you did nothing to put it there. It grew and, you know, a plant is only at best short-lived and um, you're upset about this. What about you know, these other people? And uh, we closed out the week with uh, uh, God just spelling out to, to Jonah, you know, Nineveh has more than 120,000 people living in spiritual darkness, not to mention all the animals. Shouldn't I feel sorry for such a great city? Now, there are various things about this, and one is that what is on God's heart? What's his priority? And um, I was down the years as, I, as I've endeavoured to walk the Christian walk. I know I've been through phases where it seemed an awful more sort of not fun telling people about God's wrath and completely misunderstanding the nature of gospel. I, I mean, that happened. I can't deny it. I mean, it was foolish of me. I can see that now. But it was almost as if there was more enjoyment in thinking of the awful consequences that come upon people who reject Jesus. And not giving mind to what God was thinking in the matter. All he wanted was for people to um, to repent, people to turn back to him. People just to say, Lord, that's what I put my hand up because 
I accept that you are my creator God. You are my redeemer. You are my friend. And um, it seems pretty perverse to me that us humans can get like I did and was sort of like quite excited about the thought of, oh, you know, most people don't accept Jesus and that's it, they're going to fry. While I'm thinking like that, perhaps God is crying like Jesus wept over Jerusalem because he can't bear to think of that. Hell was never designed for people. Uh, it's designed for the devil and his followers. And um, no man, no woman, no child should ever go there. Ever, ever, ever. Because it's just not where we're meant to be. We're meant to be in God's loving arms. And that's why Jesus came and, and died for us. And as we've been going through this story of Jonah, um, it really just shows us how great God's heart is. We serve the God who went to quite honestly, some of the most vicious and cruel people known in the world in their day. And he opened up a way whereby they could receive his forgiveness. Later on, of course, uh, when Jesus hung upon the cross, he opened up the way for everybody, not just in his day, but into the future, which is our time and beyond our time, into our future and our children's children and that of our children's children's children. Uh, he opened the way of forgiveness to God. And so, if you know anybody who hasn't made their peace with God, um, who hasn't considered Jesus, doesn't even know about Jesus, then I think it would be a good idea to share it with them. And not to get cross when God forgives them, but to rejoice be like the angels in heaven, so that every time a sinner comes to repentance, we can rejoice along with God and say, along with him, well, that is just wonderful news, that is wonderful news, because we were made for companionship with God. That's your role and my role. And um, Jesus came to enable us to step into that role in spite of ourselves. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. I look forward to being with you next week.